Hello guys, today I will be explaining how to interface a DC motor using an Arduino and an L293D motor driver. First, we will start by seeing the pin diagram. In this, you can see that the VCS is where the power supply will be given to the pin. Input 4 and input 3 will be used for direction control. Output 4 and output 3 will be connected to the DC motor. Both the grounds will be grounded. And enable is used to control the speed of the DC motor. Now let's go to the back to the circuit and let's see it in detail. As you can see, the power is connected to the positive terminal in the breadboard, which is in turn connected to the 5 volts of the Arduino chip. And then we can see that the input 4 is connected to pin number 4. The output 4 is connected to the DC motor. Both the grounds are grounded on the negative terminal. Then the output 3 is again connected to the DC motor. Then we have input 3 connected to pin number 3 and the Arduino board and then the enable which is connected to pin number 2 and the enable it's important to keep in mind it's for speed control. As you can see we have an external power supply because the Arduino alone cannot handle the DC motor and that is also connected to the positive and negative and it, this is connected in turn with the power 2 to, for X more power and both the negative terminals are joined together. Now we'll be seeing the execution. As we saw in the circuit diagram, speed pin was in pin number 2, the direction pins were in 3 and 4 and we are going to set speed at a constant of 220. Now in void setup, we will be setting the pin modes up and we know that all 3 pins are output so we are going to put them as output. And now in loop, first we will write for anti-clockwise. We are going to write direction 1 as high and direction 2 as low. When one direction is higher than the other, the fan will rotate in that direction. So we are going to do it and it'll, this will be for anti-clockwise. And then we'll have a delay of 2 seconds before we go to the other moment. Now the next one is for clockwise and this time we're going to be setting direction 1 as low and direction 2 as high. And then again there'll be delay. Because it's a loop this will keep happening and the spin speed is written and comma speed. And the speed is 20 to 220 it will go on this. If you, can, if you alter 220 to something else the spin speed will decrease or increase accordingly. So that's the code. This is the working of the code and now I'll show you how the motor runs after compiling the code. Now the code is being uploaded and after the code is uploaded you can see that the fan will rotate in anti-clockwise direction and then it will rotate in the clockwise direction. It will keep doing this. That's it. Thank you.